Let's get down to business and talk about the perfect gift for that special artist you know. This channel is for passionate Christian creatives who want to grow in both their love for God and also in their creativity. But this video is made for people who are maybe outside of the creative sphere and want to know what is it inside the mind of an artist that they actually would really want to receive for Christmas coming up. It can be a challenge buying gifts for people over the holidays and artists can seem especially challenging because they are so mysterious but we've cracked the code for you guys. What we've done is over all the genres of art that I could easily think of and that I had people to draw from in my life to ask and also to ask of myself, we have picked one or two good items to recommend. They're like, they're basically like foolproof, like can't miss items. Like every type of singer would probably want this thing or every type of artist would probably want this thing. It's just a good all around gift. In general, artists are pretty picky about their crafts. They want to be using tools that are good. They want to be producing things that are good. And so they're not really going to like it if you get them a bunch of okay things. It's really a better idea to go for one good thing that you want to give them. So we have some good recommendations for you. If you've been enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe and also comment down below. Let me know what is the particular medium of the artist in your life. So we have some recommendations for you guys. Let me get started with those for visual artists. A good rule of thumb for visual artists is you either want to get them the thing they're putting stuff on or the thing that they're using to put it on with. So if they are mostly into drawing and sketching, you want to be getting them pencils. You want to be getting them erasers. You want to be getting them sketchbooks and the quality of these things does matter and the type for sure does matter. So I'll have a link for those things down below. You can't miss with that kind of a thing. If they are into colored pencils and markers, quality really matters. And also again, you're gonna to wanna to get a sketchbook for them. And so those links are gonna be down below. If they are more into painting, if it's watercolor, again, it's gonna be paper. The watercolor paints really matter or they can be grainy and not blend well. And then the paper is really, really going to matter. So we have links for that down below. If they're into acrylic or oil, again, we're going to get paints that are good quality that are not going to break down on them when they need them the most. And then also we're going to be getting canvases unless you for sure know that your artist is into painting on something different like wood canvases are can't miss. And if you get an 18 by 24 canvas, that is like the basic size that is really versatile, really useful. And it's really normal to have that size of a canvas to work with. So you're going to want to get that for them. If that's their medium of choice, if you have a singer in your life, get them the sure SM seven B microphone. This microphone is pricey, but everybody wants this microphone and it's going to be a blessing to whoever you get it for, no matter what. If the artist in your life is a writer, recommendations are book light because most writers like to read too. And at night is an especially good time to read or moleskin journals. They are expensive, but you get what you pay for. If the artist in your life has any sort of film component to it, whether it is a photographer, whether it is just a social media content creator that is artistic also, whether it is someone who likes to film things, every one of those types of artists needs a really great tripod. And we're going to recommend this one down below. It's phenomenal. It is pricey, but it's awesome. And it can get like really tall. It's really versatile, really stable. No one would be mad to get this tripod. And even if they already have a tripod, it's actually never a bad thing to have more than one for different things like lights, which is the next thing I'm going to recommend. Um, these lights are great because they are not too expensive, but they're very versatile. You can control a lot with them and they're just super easy to take with you. No one who's trying to use film as a medium is going to be mad about these lights. They're awesome. So get the tripod, get the lights, get one, get both, get all of them, get multiple lights. It's going to be great. If the artist in your life is a musician, 
it's going to be really hard unless you know what kind of instrument they want particularly and that's really specific if you actually have a question about a particular kind of instrument and what we would recommend comment down below and we'll let you know because we actually do have recommendations but every musician needs a good mic stand and an extra cable so if you get that that would be a blessing to someone and really thoughtful too, especially if they are sturdy things that are gonna be a help to them and that are gonna be reliable long-term. So after all of those recommendations, and thank you for watching if you've been watching this far, let me tell you another secret. Sometimes what artists want to get is not necessarily materials that are gonna help them in their craft, but something that is gonna actually be feeding their soul. So for example, it's amazing to create art if you're in a beautiful place. Highly recommend. Maybe getting that special artist in your life a weekend at the beach or a weekend in the mountains or just at some cute getaway treehouse even I've heard of someone doing so cool. That would be so amazing. Maybe the artist in your life is overwhelmed, overworked. Maybe they have kids. You could offer free babysitting for them and get some dates on the calendar. That would be such a blessing for them. And on top of all of that, really what artists want is to be supported. So they want to see that you are either trying to encourage them by purchasing from them or encouraging them and supporting them by maybe liking, by subscribing, by reposting, by sharing, by saving. All of these things are actually really pivotal to artists. And some of them you can do for free. Artists are amazing and they are mysterious and just kind of interesting, but they really are just people and they need help with things, they need support. And so there's so many different ways that you can love on them and help them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for trying to love on that artist in your life. That's so amazing. If you were blessed by this video, please like down here. And also, if you'd like to subscribe, this channel is for people that want to grow in their creativity and also in their love for God. And so we'll be going on all kinds of adventures in the future, and we would so love to have you on them. Comment down below and let me know if you have any questions. Was there a particular medium of art that you want to know more about? Because we do have other recommendations. We just kind of boiled them down to one or two things just to make it simple. So let me know about that and be so blessed, you guys.